Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Holly Springs Chamber of Commerce staff, board of directors, and the 2020 ambassador team, thanks so much for joining us for our second ever Afternoon with the Ambassadors brought to you by McDonald's. We just want to take um, a quick moment and thank our sponsors. Um, without our sponsors and our chamber champions, we would not um, be able to do what we are able to do. So um, hopefully that worked. Just want to go ahead and make sure everyone can see. Our diamond sponsor is, is the town of Holly Springs. Um, our silver uh, members and then our bronze members as well. So again, thank you so much because without your support we could not do what we do here. Um, so the Holly Springs Chamber continuously seeks to provide access to recommendations, regulations, services, and expertise to its members. During the COVID-19 pandemic, our mission remains the same. Um, we would really enjoy it and appreciate you stopping over to the Chamber website, hollyspringschamber.org, for the latest information and resources available to the community. Um, this episode of the Afternoon with the Ambassadors will explore initiatives established through the Chamber and the Foundation dedicated to bring a positive impact during this crisis. Um, so the first person that I think we're going to be hearing from today is Sarah Madras. Um, Sarah, I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us about you, your involvement with the Chamber, um, and then you can go ahead and go into your um, which you're going to talk about. Awesome. Thank you, Tanya. Mm -hmm. so my name is Sarah Madras. I am also a Chamber Ambassador, of course, and I'm happy to be one of the panelists today. I am a business therapist with Brave Builders Coaching, and I specialize in mindship, mindset and leadership development. So I'm so excited to be one of the panelists today because we're talking about all things positive impact. Because as we know, when times get tough, uh, people can band together and create that community and Holly Springs is amazing at creating that community and taking a negative and turning it into positive, creating a gift out of something unexpected. And that's why the chamber came up with Make Every Day a Holiday camp Campaign. And this initiative is essentially where businesses within the community are giving back and doing things um, to show support, to uplift, and to make this a positive experience. Some of those examples are like um, uh, Fleet Feet, who are doing shoes for the healthcare workers. They had a time period where if you bought a pair of shoes, then they donated a pair of shoes to the healthcare workers. Um, medical shields were being made, the face shields for the medical workers. Um, I can actually, if I can screen share that. I'll show you these as well so that you guys can see who all is making an impact within our community. The hashtag that you can do for your business is hashtag holiday NC. So when you're out and about and you're hearing of other businesses within the community that are doing positive things and having an impact, um, then you can post and share those with us. So we have the uh, of course, it's not working now. <laughs> okay, and then Mims House is doing the what I really am excited to share about because how many of you guys remember your high school prom? Like that was a big deal, right? And our seniors have gotten to four years, and it's like this antithesis of your of your high school career is like, okay, I'm going to be able to have prom and all the preparation that goes into it. And then COVID came and everything got canceled. And so I love that Brooke with the Mims house has really stepped up and she's partnered with Mama Birds and Bell's Catering and they are doing an all schools prom. And that is going to be on July 23rd. Kids have already bought their, you know, their dresses or rented their tucks and they went through all this preparation and everything that goes into finding it. I drove all the way to Miami from Tampa to find my prom dress, right? Like this is a big deal. And so for them to be robbed of that experience, she just said, no, we can't let that happen. It's a rite of passage. It's a way for them to have closure with their friends and create those lasting memories and dance and take pictures and things like that. 
So that's what Mims House is hosting on July 23rd. Um, it's a great ticket price. It's only 20 bucks and that includes your food, includes the DJ, the photo booth, and just a night that you won't forget. So take a look at that. And to be a part of spreading this positive impact, remember the hashtag is HolidayNC. So when you see positive um, people giving back or taking this uh, difficult experience and making something positive out, we want to share that and make every day a holiday. So remember, hashtag holiday NC. I just love, like you said, what the men's house is doing. These seniors are, you know, they've been robbed of so much graduation, walking the stage. Um, some of them that have been playing sports their entire lives and they may not be eligible to play at the college level, but maybe they're not able to go ahead and play with their teammates that they've been playing with since they were four or five years old. So it's really wonderful what they're doing. And let me tell you, a lot of these girls have went out and bought these elaborate dresses. I yes. mean, you and I, we don't want to age ourselves or anything, <laughs> but the, the expense that goes into the prom dresses yep. and the jewelry and all yep. of the things, it's really expensive for them just to be hanging their dresses up. So it right. is really exciting and trying to get that in before these students um, are then in college and have a harder time connecting back into the high school year. So exactly. totally get that. And it's a yep. beautiful experience. Yep. A nice closure, those four years of friendship, and they can have that one last cherry on top experience before they go off to college. So. Exactly. Exactly. Um, well, thank you so much for sharing that information. Um, next, we're going to hear from David. I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself again. Go ahead and introduce you, your business, um, your involvement with the Chamber, um, and then tell us about the Holly Springs Angel Fund. Yes, hello. So I'm David Winningham. I'm the uh, other half of Fairwinds Chocolate Cafe at the Lowe's Food Shopping Center in Holly Springs. Um, I am also a Chamber Ambassador, because this is Afternoon with the Ambassadors. Uh, and I am going to be talking about the, um, the Angel Fund, which is, it's put on by the uh, Chamber Foundation. I will change it to this, there we go. So this is a Chamber fin Foundation, uh, which is a 503C, um, which means it's, it's a nonprofit. Any donations that go to it are gonna be tax uh, help you with your taxes. And what this fund is for is helping small businesses during these difficult times. So the businesses in Holly Springs, we were just building up. We've got so much new going on. We got the, you know, things like the block that aren't even out yet. Uh, lots of small businesses have just started and there's a huge expense when building out uh, a brick and mortar store and they're just hurting a lot at this time. So this fund is there to try and help those small businesses get through this and continue and stay here and help make Holly Springs a great place. Um, we are excited to say that last Friday, uh, we did actually do the first round of funding to 10 small businesses um, and they have been just overjoyed with actually getting some money to help them. We have a few people that it, it's essentially helping them keep their lights on and not get evicted from their landlords and things like that. These are really important. Um, right now, we do actually have some matching going on with this fund. So if any individual or business wants to donate uh, $100 to the fund, it'll actually be matched by three other places. We have uh, the town of Holly Springs is doing a dollar for dollar match. Um, my commuter career and the block on Main are both doing matches for $100 and above donations. So right now, if we put all of that together, we need to, as a community, come up with at least $15,000 just to get all the matching so that we don't leave any of that money just sitting on the table and we can give that to small businesses. Um, the next round is going to be on the first of next month. So uh, that'll be when the next grouping of people, if we have the funds to, will get their grants um, and help them stay afloat. 
uh, we did get to, I did get to talk to a couple of the businesses that have received money and what they're using it for is, is it's basics. It's paying their rent, uh, keeping their staff on, um, in certain places you have, uh, if you're on like the main street, you have requirements to keep your landscaping up and just to be able to pay another small business with that grant to keep that up so that they don't get in trouble from the town during this time. It's, it's just amazing to help these people. So if you want to donate, we will drop a link in the chat as well. Um, again, if you can manage to do a hundred dollars, that's going to get matched three times. So your hundred dollars is going to be four hundred dollars to these small businesses in Holly Springs. It's such a great time. Excuse me for interrupting, but it's such a great time to quadruple that impact. You know, one hundred dollars turning into four four hundred dollars is is such a huge, huge impact in our community. And I also spoke to some business owners, um, much like what you were saying. If you are a business owner and you're in the downtown area, there's some pretty strict um, guidelines as far as your um, landscaping and such. And the business owner I spoke to, um, you know, she was able to pay her contractor who's, you know, here in Holly Springs, able to pay her landscaper here in Holly Springs. So that money is not only just helping that business, it's helping the other local businesses that are supporting. So I think it's really important to acknowledge the domino effect that we have with this. It's not just one business being affected. It's all of the other businesses that help support and hold that business up. Um, so $400, even it's $100 and it's $400. And again, that, um, the town of Holly Springs is matching the dollar for dollar up to $15,000. Um, and then you have the block and my computer career as well, also um, giving $100 per $100 donation. So they're not matching dollar for dollar, but it's for every $100 donation or more, they're going to pitch in $100. Um, so it's a great way for everybody to join. And I think it's really important too to point out that it's not just business owners that can contribute to this fund. It's if you love that mom and pop store that just opened up on Main Street, this is your opportunity to go ahead and, and possibly help fund them. Um, I spoke to another business owner just yesterday evening and you know she is allowed to open here in phase one, but she has a compromised immune system. So opening in phase one was something that was very, very difficult. And she felt a lot of pressure to be able to, to open. Um, and she received this grant. Um, her landlord was also not budging and has not been responsive to her emails. So she was able to go ahead, pay her rent, and let that at least let go for a little while, but also not succumb to the pressure to hurry up and open and compromise herself and her family to the, the repercussions that could affect her. So it, it was very moving to hear um, what people are able to do. And sometimes it's just as simple as paying the water bill. I mean, it's, it's something that it's, it's remarkable to see the impact that we can have. Yep. All those expenses you have as a homeowner yourself, the business has that again, because the business has it as well as the owners of the business have that. And it's, we, we have mentioned, uh, Main Street because we have the block on Main helping out and there are some people that got grants in there But it's not just to keep the Main Street up. It's any business any small business brick and mortar in The town of Holly Springs is eligible to receive the grant. They just need to um, Submit which we'll also put up there. Uh, it's just a full question and then it goes to a committee which will um, look through them and see who we can help the most. Um, I can say that as a small business owner, the, outside of that main block on main, we've had good support from the town, but this is a way that you can support other small businesses as well. And it's four, you know, it's four times the impact. If you donate a hundred dollars to just me, I get it. But if you donate it to this, then it's potentially four people would get it. And we've, and we've talked extensively too, that when you open a brick and mortar um, in Holly Springs, you're putting a hundred percent personal guarantee on that property. So whether you're able to go ahead and pay that rent or not, 
it's, it's going to affect your credit. Um, I know that Shante Picard, who's the executive director of the chamber, as well as Justin Sellers, the commissioner, or the, I'm sorry, the chair of the chamber and the commissioner of the Coastal Plain League, were on the Holly Springs Deep Dive podcast just today, and they went into extensively um, exactly the, the entire process, um, including this 100% guarantee that these people are on. So it, it definitely helps um, those small businesses. Yeah, and I the, love the point you made, Tanya, about how that it's not just businesses that can donate, that if you have everybody in the community in the community can donate to this. And so if you have a provider that you really love, you can donate to that fund. Maybe you, you don't feel comfortable being like, hey, I want you to stay open in your doors so that as soon as you open back up, I can come back and see you. Maybe that exchange of giving it up to them directly is uncomfortable and it doesn't have that matched impact. But if you donate to the angel fund, they could be one of the ones that is getting picked and your money is matched. So it's not just limited to just business owners helping business owners. It's the community. What businesses do you want to see sticking around and us all pulling together so you can still go see them for services and go into their store and buy their items and things like that. So I think that's a great point for the community to know that this is set up where they can donate and they also reap the benefits of their favorite places being able to stay open. Absolutely. It's, it's things like this is why, why my wife and I moved here. It's things like this that make this community the place that we wanted to be and the place we wanted to open our store. It's certainly, the one thing I can say about Holly Springs is it's resilient. And there is one thing that has been beautiful to watch is the support we have for small businesses. We are very early, I, I'd say in the infant stages of growing businesses in this town. And this pandemic is probably one of the absolute worst times to be hitting. Um, and with that hitting, just as people are trying to open the doors, I mean, I can think of another chamber member, Salon Revive. They literally just opened their doors two weeks after this whole thing happened. And it's just kind of tipped their world upside down. And they have tons of faith and they continue to go ahead and ride on faith. But um, it, you know, those kinds of things help. Um, we're, we're a resilient community when we all work together and when we all bring our resources together, we can really get a lot done. It's, it's remarkable and it, it's such so great to go ahead and be a part of it. David, as far as the angel fund, is that something that um, you have to be a chamber member for? No, anyone, any small business in uh, Holly Springs that has a brick and mortar can apply for it. Um, the, the requirements are just to be considered a small business. You need to be uh, under 50 employees, uh, have a brick and mortar in Holly Springs. Is We're really trying to help with things like payments of rent and bills and that kind of stuff. Um, and unfortunately we can't give to absolutely everyone. So there is a committee that goes through and looks at each of the applications. Um, and every month, as long as we have money to do it and the fund stays open, we're gonna be giving those out to small businesses. That's awesome. Because really when you think about it too, being that a lot of businesses has businesses have already been closed for six, eight weeks at this point, mm -hmm. the cash flow isn't going to start coming in right away. It's gonna take several weeks for that cash flow to come in. So that really does help. And if we can continue to fund this program to help businesses as they continue to move out. Just because the pandemic hit doesn't mean that someone doesn't is not going to have to pay the rent. That rent is going to be tacked on somewhere down the road um, or at some whatever arrangements are made out. So it's people aren't just being forgiven those kind of massive, massive expenses. And David, you being a small business owner with a brick and mortar here in Holly Springs, you know exactly how expensive it is. Yeah, um, I still feel the pain from upfitting the shop. Like it's just, you just don't think about how much every little thing costs when you're doing something like that. And we tried to do a lot of it ourselves. You know, we ripped up the floors so that we could redo them, but. Yeah, and I think, um, again, on the, the Deep Dive podcast where Justin and Shante were talking about the expenses that go into this between the upfitting um, where they spoke to not they didn't speak to but they mentioned Nicole Martinez with mm -hmm. Silver Lake Construction um, they talked to Erica Anderson 
about commercial real estate. So they've got a lot of information too about how expensive it is. It's really hard to totally grasp that. Um, in the chat, I did go ahead and link the Chamber Foundation's um, website so you can go there and make a donation we highly encourage people to go in and share that link um, you know if you can donate please do but if you can share that link um, particularly with those who are in the community that like to some support small business please ask them to do that that would be wonderful before we close out too I just want to say as well that because we are a small town big impact whether it's the angel fund or whether it's simply only shopping local right now of if you're going to do like for teacher appreciation and end of year gifts for your teachers, buying them gift cards just to the local shops. If all of us are just committed to only shopping local right now, the impact like it's it's like little marbles in a jar or they're marble, you know, stones in a stream, it can it can create waves the more and more that we work together. So it can be that $25 gift card to a restaurant. It can be, you know, the gift that you buy for the teacher or loved ones. But if we all just commit, that within itself is making a positive impact. We don't have to, you know, say, oh, well, I can't do anything because it was a $100 match or, you know, things like that. You can do, you can have positive impact by the smallest things of just saying, okay, I'm going to commit to just shopping local right now. And everything I purchase is going to be from that. And, I'm going to commit to eating out once a week and only from local restaurants, things like that. So win-win for everybody. And gift cards are so important because that really helps the cash flow right now. It makes an impact awesome. right now. And whereas you may have a business that may not be open in phase one, um, when they could do get to their phase two or three, they can go ahead and start bringing people through the doors again. But you can make an impact right now again, even if it's not through the angel fund support local, get those local gift cards. If you can't use them now, um, you know, use them somewhere down the road. I heard somebody say that they received um, a gift card, I think from uh, Ambassador Diane Kinlaw with the Holly Springs Small Business Network group. And she had never been to OSHA. I think, it, I think she had never been to OSHA. And she gets this gift card and she's Who like, I want the whole card. experience. <laughs> so she's gonna hold on to it. But, and, and those things matter because that impact is right now. Mm -hmm. but, you know, we can hold up for that experience later on. Yep. Well, we know that right now, now experience can be later. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right now we know not everyone can, not every business can. Like uh, businesses are also putting into this. I know I can't at the moment, but things that I'm doing are for like right now, the people that are watching. We're giving away a box of chocolates to uh, one of the random people that happen to be watching because we want this to be shared and out there and have people join us and talk about these things and actually be part of the community here and see how we can get through all of this. David, you make, um, I don't remember how that just triggered a thought with me, um, but it's important to remember too that all of these small businesses in our community support our local teams, our local scholastics, our local high school chorus, all of those things. So this is the time where you can say thank you by supporting them. Um, they're the ones that, you know, have been there to go ahead and make sure that kids can travel in the marching band and they're the ones that do the car washes or donate for the little uh, book saver things. I don't even know what they're called anymore. Um, but those are, the, those are the companies that you can say thank you to. So. That's definitely true. We have, we have an eagle. <laughs> have a little, yeah. Are there any? Yeah. yeah. So if we have any questions, does anyone have any questions for us? Um, I, I see we have got, I know a couple of these people here today are ambassadors with us. Um, it looks like we're all good. If there's nobody. Again, like we knocked it out of the park, y'all. We did it. We no one has any questions. Um, again, please, if you have any days that um, anything that you see happening in the community where businesses are helping other businesses, again, um, that hashtag is hashtag 
ha hashtag holiday NC. And that will be flagged to our um, social media person to go ahead and follow and more likely to reshare via social media. Um, and then also the link for the Holly Springs Chamber.org backslash Holly Springs Chamber Foundation. That's where you can go and donate to the Angel Fund. Um, and if we don't have any additional questions, then I think we can go ahead and wrap it up. All right. Yep. And as always, if you don't want to ask them here, you can always reach out to the Chamber Ambassador team. That's what we're here for. It is, yes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. We hope you have a great day. Bye. Okay.